the Patriots haven't landed a go-to receiver in free agency yet. They added Bruce Ellington and Maurice Harris last week. They resigned Philip Dorsett. Maybe they're done, maybe not. Maybe they'd rather execute a trade or dip into the draft at this position. There are still opportunities for the team to pick up a free agent pass catcher you've heard of before, though. None of the receivers remaining may be at the same level talent-wise as Golden Tate, Adam Humphreys, Jamison Crowder or Cole Beasley. But there are a few who may provide Bill Belichick's receiver room another level of depth. Below we lay out some of the bigger names available, their ages, and a stat that might indicate how they could provide the Patriots some value. All stats are courtesy of Pro Football Focus unless otherwise noted. Randall Cobb, 28, 87.9% of snaps in the slot in 2018 Cobb has dealt with injuries in recent seasons, but he understands leverage and knows how to operate among the safeties and linebackers who occupy the middle of the field. He's also accustomed to working with a demanding quarterback, which might make a potential transition to New England a little smoother than it would be for others. Cobb likely won't command as much as other slots have this offseason considering he played in just nine games last season. Spatrak has his market value estimated at two years and about $8 million per year. Cobb will be 29 when the 2019 season begins. More from Phil Perry checking in on Pat's compensatory picks Jordy Nelson, 33, 100.9 rating when targeted in 2018 Nelson makes sense on a few different fronts, despite the fact he'd be among the oldest players on the Patriots roster. Like Cobb, he understands what it's like to play with a meticulous quarterback. Like Cobb, he has some slot experience, though not nearly as much. Last season, just over a third of his snaps, 34.3, were run from the inside. That versatility, though, would suit Nelson in New England. Nelson's next team might also be intrigued by his production in a below-average offense. His 100.9 rating when targeted placed him ahead of Antonio Brown, Odell Beckham, Larry Fitzgerald, Mike Evans and Juju Smith-Schuster. Signing Nelson would not count against New England's compensatory pick formula since he was released by Oakland. He'll be 34 when the season begins. Jermaine Curse, 29, 1.79 yards per slot route run in 2017 The former Seahawks and Jets wide out is two years removed from a career year in which he had 65 grabs on 102 targets for 810 yards and 5 touchdowns. His 1.79 yards per route run from the slot that season put him ahead of Doug Baldwin, Jarvis Landry, Tyler Lockett, Emmanuel Sanders and Crowder. Can he still hit that level? Curse's pace slowed significantly last year, as he caught 37 passes for 371 yards with rookie Sam Darnold behind center in New York. In five career games against the Patriots, Curse has 20 catches for 275 yards, including a 45-yard effort for Seattle in Super Bowl 49. He played 77.5% of his snaps in the slot in 2018. More Pats free agency Robbie Anderson, 25, 16.5 average air yards per target in 2018 Anderson, 6-3, 190, doesn't fit the profile of the types of receivers the Patriots have been after. He's not immune to slot work but he saw just under 24% of his snaps come from the inside last season. He's more of a classic deep threat, as his 16.5 average air yards per target, third in the league, per next-gen stats, would indicate. The Patriots could benefit from that type of X receiver presence, especially with the uncertainty surrounding Josh Gordon's availability for next season. Anderson is a restricted free agent and has been given a second-round tender so not only would the Patriots need to give Anderson a contract, but they'd also have to relinquish a second-rounder. That might be a price to steep to pay, especially for someone who is just over a year removed from a high-profile arrest. Anderson will be 26 when the season begins, Pierre Garçon, 32, no. 19 receiver by PFF grade in 2017 This would be a lightning in a bottle signing if it ever came to be. Garçon will be 33 when the 2019 season begins. 
He's played eight games in each of the last two seasons and 809 snaps total. He's had lingering knee issues, and he had to have arthroscopic knee surgery in December. In 2017, before his season was cut short, he hit a 1.79 yards per route run mark, placing him just ahead of then Patriots wideout Brandon Cook's 1.78. If there's any chance he could get back to where he was before getting injured that season, he'd give the Patriots a boundary presence should Gordon be unavailable. Michael Crabtree, 31, 11.2 yards per catch in 2018 Hard to know where Crabtree's game is at given the situation he found himself in last year. He graded out as one of the worst receivers in the league among regulars, according to PFF, but when he caught passes, they usually resulted in chunks of yardage. That's saying something considering Baltimore's offense. 13.2% of snaps in this lot last season won't put him on many radars for those looking for kick-hitting options, and there's not much about his recent past that screams he's deserving of a shot in New England. He did squash his beef with Aqib Tlaib, though, reportedly at a go-kart track. So there's that. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device. If you were hoping for Johnny Manziel to make a return to the NFL, he took a step in the right direction Saturday. According to Adam Schefter, the former Heisman Trophy winner has signed the standard player agreement with Alliance American Football AAAFDAAF is in its first season as a new pro football league in the United States, consisting of eight teams. The season began on February 9th and will run until April 14th. The playoffs will be played on April 20th and 21, and the championship game is on April 27th. Just in time for Manziel, or any player from the AAAF for that matter, to catch on with an NFL team for training camp, Manziel does not have a team yet, as he will go through waivers. The Memphis Express currently hold the worst record in the AAF and could bring Manziel on. They have already tried their hand at former NFL quarterbacks Christian Hackenberg and Zach Mettenberger, but obviously that hasn't worked out very well. The Patriots still have Brian Hoyer under contract behind Tom Brady for next season before he becomes a free agent, so if they were considering bringing Manziel in for training camp, they'll get a good look at him in the AAF. Manziel didn't have a great season in the CFL before he was banned from the league for breaching his contract. In eight games he threw for 1,290 yards, five touchdowns and seven interceptions while completing 64% of his passes. You can watch the AAF on Saturdays and Sundays, so if you're still hoping for Manziel to make an NFL return, stay tuned. Asterisk update asterisk the Memphis Express claimed Manziel off of waivers. They were the first team available for a selection, welcome to the 901 at J Manziel 2. The New England Patriots are losing Ladrian Waddle, but they'll still see him twice this season. The free agent defensive tackle has signed a one-year contract with the Buffalo Bills, the team announced Saturday. We've signed T. Ladrian Waddle to a one-year deal. He did make three starts in 2018 when starting right tackle Marcus Cannon missed time due to injury. Waddle joins Trent Brown as the second offensive lineman to leave New England in free agency, as the Patriots could use some tackle depth behind Cannon and second-year Isaiah Wynn. After Waddle's signing, the Patriots have seven free agents who are on the 2018 squad and remain unsigned, running back Jeremy Hill, wide receiver Chris Hogan, defensive tackle Danny Shelton, linebackers Albert McClellan and Ramon Humber, kicker Steven Gostkowski and punter Ryan Allen. Click here to download the new My Teams app by NBC Sports. Receive comprehensive coverage of your teams and stream the Celtics easily on your device.